suddenly she passes right in front of me. Somebody better come quick and rescue me. Sanity, when did it wander off? It's not like me giving my heart so hastily. Hello from Paris. I am so excited to be here. It's been such a whirlwind. So today is my birthday and a few days ago, or two days ago, I hit a million subscribers. It's just absolutely crazy. I don't even have the words to describe how I feel about that. But we kind of thought that it was cause for celebration. So we booked this last minute trip to Paris. I'm here with my dad just for one day. And then tomorrow night, JJ is joining me and we're here for like four days all together. And I just couldn't be happier. We've arrived here and the weather is absolutely perfect. It was so gloomy in London this morning and the weather here is amazing. So we just arrived to our hotel. We're staying in the Hotel Balzac. It's right by the Arc de Triomphe, right by the Champs-Élysées and it's the most perfect location and honestly I'm practically speechless because I think this is the most beautiful room I have ever stayed in. So I'm staying in this room for two nights and then changing rooms uh, for another two nights just because of the hotel's availability because this was so last minute but this is a suite so when you come in you have this beautiful living room area. Look at the furniture and then you come through this door and it's the bedroom and it's literally a princess room. I can't even get over, look at the canopy, it's so incredible. And then over here we have a little walk-in wardrobe, which is super cool. And then the best bit probably, apart from the incredible bed, is we have this huge balcony. And then if you come round here, round the corner, I can see the Eiffel Tower. Guys, I have the most amazing Paris wardrobe. I can't wait to unpack it all and show you, show you all the outfits I've got. So guys, our hotel is just down there on the corner and then it's like a 30 second walk and there is the Arc de Triomphe and we're on the Champs-Élysées. Like literally step right out of the hotel to here. The last time I was here was like six years ago here at the Arc de Triomphe and it's like 70 times bigger than I remember it to be. I was kind of considering going up um, but I am wearing heels so I didn't really think this through very well but the Valentinos are very comfortable and I think I could probably do it. <laughs> sunglasses these are my new ones from for art's sake that i just got recently they're so beautiful look these little hearts open and there's a little mood gem inside how cute it's just so incredible j'adore
so guys we just got back to the hotel room for a quick change because we're going off to the Moulin Rouge which I am so so excited for and I just wanted to give you first a little sneak peek of my wardrobe and the outfits that I brought with me they're just like the best outfits seriously this is like the best Paris wardrobe I'm so excited <laughs> here is my case and here I have some of my bags this amazing pearl bag my Chanel I have that gorgeous Richard Allen top from H&M and the Zara polka dot blouse a lot of this stuff is from my autumn winter haul week some Zara shorts um that Zara skirt this incredible dress from Anne Louise boutique <gasps> It is literally a work of art. My Zara trench dress, which I think is very Parisian looking. The And Other Stories jacket, which I definitely do not need because it's so, so warm. But I think I will try and shoot with it. This incredible Zimmerman dress. Um, this brown dress, one of my favourite dresses, that's for tonight. And then this beautiful um, black and pink floral dress from Oasis. So yeah, I'm so happy with my outfits for this week. We just got to the Moulin Rouge. Wow, this is so cool. So guys, we just picked up our tickets for the Moulin Rouge. Actually, one of my lovely followers messaged me on Instagram and said that she's a dancer at the Moulin Rouge and she'd love me to come and sort me out some half price tickets. So yeah, we just met her. She was so nice. I'm just so excited to see her in the show. Look at the pink sky, pink sunset. It's my dad looking all smart. <laughs> Daddy. He's <laughs> finding the way to the Sacre Bleu. No, no. Sacre Bleu. <laughs> Everything's pink. I don't even need to put my filter on. <laughs> Guys, look at this sunset. Oh my gosh. I'm so out of breath. I just ran up the stairs to catch it. It's Paris in pink. <laughs> pink sparkly Paris. This is like the best, best birthday. <laughs> well that was definitely worth running up about a hundred steps for. Getting all sweaty, in heels. Running, up steps, in heels. Just some of said steps. Oh, I'm absolutely exhausted, but that was so worth it. We just got our Moulin Rouge tickets. We're about to go in. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. So we're sat down in our seat and they brought us a bottle of champagne. And my dad can't drink right now because he's on antibiotics, so I guess this is all for me. <laughs> Let's <Ooh. laughs> see. Thank you. afternoon because the afternoon light is so beautiful so we're just gonna do a little bit of shopping I need to try and find some flat shoes because of course I only packed heels typical me and my feet are killing me <laughs> so I need to find some flat shoes um, so yeah and then we're gonna reconvene later this afternoon for some Eiffel Tower shots which I can't wait for I got some shoes just some really boring like brown ballerinas <laughs> I have not worn ballerina shoes in like years but guys my feet are not good right now so I need something flat just checking in we just shot an outfit this is Anna a lovely photographer we shot together in London in July 
and Anna lives in Paris and said if ever you want to come and shoot in Paris let me know so that's what we're doing today and we've definitely got the weather this afternoon so I'm very happy we've just been shooting by the Eiffel Tower and now we're heading in an Uber to the uh, Alexander Bridge where we were yesterday and it should be really nice light I'm very excited and have a very cute outfit if you guys remember this from hall week the jacket yes I kept it <laughs> so I can't wait to shoot this look we're at the bridge, it's amazing. This is my outfit. I've got my and other stories knee highs on. It's a Zara shorts, mango top, and the and other stories jacket. You need to take the tag out. Um, but I'm really, really excited. It's such a nice day, and JJ's coming later, and I'm just in such a nice mood. And these sunglasses are the best. shooting me and my dad just had a drink and now he's gone he's going to catch the Eurostar now so I'm by myself for a few hours um, I'm sad to see him go but I am excited for JJ to get here but yeah I have some time to myself now uh, so I'm just gonna chill out in the hotel probably have a bar watch some Gossip Girl I'm gonna watch the Gossip Girl Paris episodes I think from the beginning of season four and just relax because I've been on my feet all day I'm wearing my new flat shoes. I feel so weird. I never wear flat shoes. Here is my beautiful hotel. My room is that one up there with the balcony on the corner. Just wanted to show you my beautiful room in the evening. This is just my favourite hotel I've ever stayed in. It's just so my style and I feel so like at home here. <laughs> it sounds really weird but it's just so beautiful. Oh you can kind of see the sunset. It's a little bit pink over there and over there by the tower I can't wait to see the Eiffel Tower light up later I forgot to look last night because we got back so late oh so cute so high up good morning everyone and happy birthday to me look who's here who's this handsome man in Paris I actually thought yesterday that the whole colour scheme of this room was actually very Burr Waldorf with the purple and the green. Walks along the Seine, laughing in the rain. Ah, last summer, memories that remain. Cigarette and a croissant, anyone? <laughs> Stopped for a little rest by the fountain in the gardens. What are these gardens called, JJ? Why are you laughing, JJ? <laughs> He's having a bit of trouble. Um, luckily, I always carry plasters. Um, <laughs> in other news, a bird pooed on my Zimmerman dress. So oh. <laughs> we're all having a good day today, aren't we? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why do I always get pooed on? I know it's supposed to be good luck, so maybe that's why. But I always get pooed on by birds. It's oh. not even funny. So JJ's on voice rest right now, um, which is quite refreshing for me because JJ just adores the sound of his own voice, and normally I just can't get him to shut up. So this is just so nice. I get to talk for once. So this is exactly where Josie and I came with Roger and Galley at Christmas, but it looked so different in the winter. All the trees were bare, and there was a huge like winter wonderland Christmas market just here. But it's so nice to be here in the sunshine. And we're just gonna stop off at Angelina for a hot chocolate. Because although it's sunny, it's a little bit chilly, don't you think? Chocolat chaud. Chocolat chaud. Pardon. And it's Excusez-moi. Est-ce que je peux avoir chocolat chaud? Stop showing off. Si JJ's really good at French. And then we are gonna actually go to Roger and Galley because um, I want to pick up a few things there because there's like this reed diffuser and candle that you actually cannot get in England and you can't even order it online. You have to go to the Roger and Galley Paris store. Here we are, here's Angelina. Oh, I love it here so much. I'm so excited, look. Oh, yay. So we're actually gonna do a rain check on Angelina because we really fancy a cake as well, but we're not hungry right now because we did just kind of eat breakfast, lunch. So we're gonna come back in a little while. We're gonna head to Roger and Galley in the Louvre and then stop off at Angelina on the way back. Pink car! Woo. We're here at the Roger and Galley store. It's literally the most beautiful shop in Paris. Look at this. There's a little perfume spray on the outside. So cool. How cool is that? 
honestly, this is my favourite shop. Is this not the most amazing little boutique you've ever seen? Oh, I love it. Look at this. It's like a perfume laboratory. So this is one of my favourite perfumes when we came to Roger and Gallet at Christmas and we tried every single fragrance in the store and I just love this so much. I wear it all the time. I definitely brought it with me as well for the trip. So I don't need another one of these because you really need the tiniest bit. But I am going to stock up on the body lotion, the shower gel, the candle and the reed diffuser. <laughs> Here are the lovely soaps I'm getting. A couple of shower gels and a candle. And then Sebastian's going to grab me the reed diffuser as well. And JJ's actually going to get a perfume too. Oh my goodies. Sebastian's going to put this behind while we go and explore the Louvre because it's very, very heavy. <laughs> So after Roger and Galley, we've come to the Louvre, which I have never actually been inside. I've been in this area, but I've never actually been inside before. JJ has, so he's gonna give me the grand tour. this guy was sentenced to death and so his wife stabbed herself and said look it doesn't hurt and they were gonna kill themselves together because she didn't want to live without him this room is amazing I love it all of these marble sculptures are hundreds of years old and they all have a little story really amazing there's Neptune what did you just say JJ that is give me the camera give me the camera that is literally Freddy look Freddy hold on how do you zoom there's a zoom here. Oh, let's get in on this on this get in on this face. <laughs> Freddie, when you tell her there's no dessert. <laughs> Twins! Twins. We're back. Oh, just in time. Look, hopefully little Q. Very little Q. And a dollar for cream. Papa. So we're in our new room. It's very, very beautiful. It's a little bit smaller, however, we have the most amazing view so you come in here all very beautiful have the bed and then <gasps> voila wow it's so beautiful as if we get to just look at this from our bed <laughs> oh my gosh i just opened my birthday present from jj <laughs> i cannot speak well i've already like given him a million kisses <laughs> But, oh my gosh, guys. Is this not just the most fitting gift for a 25th birthday in Paris you've ever seen? And they go so perfectly in the room. I mean, opening a pair of your first Louboutins with the Eiffel Tower outside. This is like a movie moment for me. Absolutely perfect, I'm so happy. <laughs> Good morning. Paris. Our last morning. Look at that view. Oh, it's a little bit chillier today. Good morning. It's our last morning in Paris. JoJo's just getting an Uber. It's a little bit chillier today, so I have my jacket on over my Anne Louise boutique dress. I'm feeling very chic with my Catwalk Club Chanel bag. Um, we are just grabbing an Uber from our hotel to Gallery Lafayette, which I can't wait to go to. Have a little stroll, and then this afternoon we have afternoon tea at the Peninsula Hotel, which I'm so excited for, and then I think we'll just go for a wander around the Eiffel Tower. 
and then I think this evening we're gonna go back up to Montmartre village where me and my dad were on my birthday check out the sunset again so JJ can see it and have dinner up there and then come back is our uber here Ooh, our uber's here wow it's amazing You look amazing. Oh my gosh. Like a princess. It suits yeah. her, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just come up to the roof terrace. It's the most amazing view of Paris. Like our hotel is literally like just over there. <laughs> okay. And this is opera area. We've just come into Repetto, which is a very famous ballet store. But then they also do like real like outerwear shoes and outerwear clothes as well. Look at the wall of point shoes. Coco would love this. point shoes so pretty I wish Coco was here here is our afternoon tea it looks so delicious we have little finger sandwiches here fresh cream pastries up here and then little cookies and scones down at the bottom and of course champagne. I think we've just ordered the most beautiful cappuccino I've ever seen. <laughs> That's the most stylish cappuccino. JJ's having a lemon, ginger and honey tea for his precious vocal cords, his instrument. <laughs> And I'm having just a lovely, refreshing mint tea to wash all of this down. I feel so stuffed and I just don't know why I'm so messy. Look at my plate compared to JJ's. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think when I see dessert, I just go a bit mad. And the cookies were absolutely the best I've ever tasted. So they've given me some to take away. <sighs> I honestly can't squeeze another drop into me. But we've had the nicest afternoon tea um, and the sun is setting very very beautiful afternoon we're just taking in the last of paris before we go home tomorrow morning i've literally had the best time it's been so magical everything has been perfect suddenly she passes right in front of me Suddenly Feels like I'm gonna fall <laughs> Well, it's our last night in Paris and I've had the best time It's been so perfect and magical and yeah, really happy <laughs> It was the perfect 25th birthday now I see just what your love is meant to be Suddenly I have a new romance I just said he's the comic relief in my vlogs. What is that supposed to mean? What am I? The tragedy? What, what, what kind of a thing to say is that? Yeah.